Now let's see how do we return a JSON format because see till this point we have returned XML format right and we were happy with it but then most of the people nowadays they are using JSON so how do you return a JSON value? Now you might be thinking it's, we have to do lots of stuff uh, not exactly we don't have to do much about much about this what it, what we have to do is if you think if you see this uh, produce uh, annotation this produce actually takes an array of uh, XML, I mean the array of media type. We are specifying only one, right? If you want to specify multiple media type, what you can say is, in fact, first of all, let's say I don't want to use XML, I just want to fetch JSON. Okay, we'll see how to do both, but then time and let's focus on JSON. So I'm not producing an XML, I'm producing a JSON. Now, will it work? If I'm, if I'm sending a JSON, and if I go back to my uh, if I go back to my postman, let's verify. I'm sending a JSON request, and we got an error. See, there's no error with the response. Okay, the problem is with the with the server itself. On the server side, we are getting error, which is 500. So when you say 500, it means so there's there's something wrong with the server. And you can see it says message body writer not found uh, of meta type JS application JSON. Now, when you want to send a response for JSON format, your jersey says, hey, hey user, I mean, hey developer, uh, as a jersey, I normally work with XML because that's what is default in jersey. If you want to send JSON, then you have to use external dependencies. Oh, now that's the thing. We have to download some external dependencies for that. Oh, that's lots of work, right? But don't worry. Jersey also says, I have done done it for you, don't worry. What you have to do is, in fact, if you go to the pomxml file, if you just go down and down, you can see we have dependencies for Jersey container, we have a, a dependency for this Jersey. We, are, we have one more dependency which is called as Jersey Media Moxie. And that is in commented state. If you can just uncomment it, you will be getting this dependency in your in your Maven in your Maven dependencies where you can find it here. If you go to library, if you go to Maven, and you, and you can see we don't have Moxie as of oh, we got it. I, I guess we have saved this file. Okay, so you, you can see we got media Moxie. This is what we want, and the service also restarted. We just have to add that particular dependency. And if you send a request, okay, it's, it's sending, it's sending, waiting for the response. And can you see that we got a JSON response? And JSON response looks much much cool. I mean, cooler than uh, what, what you say XML, right? So this looks good. So this is how you return a JSON. But what if I want to send a request for XML now? Example, if I go to my uh, get request, if I again so go for a get request here, and if I send a request, so this time I'm sending a request for JSON. But if I send a request for XML, and if I say send, you can see we are getting error, which is 406. So you have to mention whatever data you are sending. So for that, you have to again go back and you have to say make it XML. But that's an issue, right? What if you want to provide both? So depend upon user, some people will say I want XML, some people will say I, will, I want JSON. What you can do is you can just put them, in, put them in an array. And in this array, you can specify two types. One is JSON and the second media type would be second media type dot, it will be XML. So that depend upon what user ask for. If user ask for JSON, if user ask for XML, will return whatever user ask, right? This is what you call as content negotiation. You are so this client and a server they are negotiating the the content, what type of content they want. Let's go back to the postman, and now I'm sending an XML request. It works. Now let me send a JSON request. This JSON and send. It works, right? So this is accepting both. Now, can we do that with our this thing? I mean, the, this here. Let's try. Let's go with the get aliens. I mean, for all the aliens, let's produce both JSON and XML. And let's see if it is working or not. Uh, let me just go back to my. Okay, is it server loaded? I don't think so. Okay, done. Let's go back to my postman. And if I send, I want to request for aliens. I want. Okay, first of all, let me just go with JSON. If I send request. It works. Can you see that we got a JSON? So we got an array here. We got a JSON array. And if I specify XML, if I specify XML, you can say send it works. Again, you can do the same thing for the create alien. Instead of sending a data in XML format, you can send data in JSON format. And I would I would leave it to leave it up to you. So you have to do it, you have to complete this one. 
okay so yeah that's how you use json format that's how we use that's how we use this json i mean jersey media moxie so that's it from this video where you return the json format and for the further and further to further videos i'll be focusing more on json less on xml because i love json so that's it uh, that's it guys that's it from that's it from this video we'll see you in the next video and we'll talk about something else thank you so much for watching